this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This, That, or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month. We'll video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's been a while to a, to your monthly dose of Capes and Lunatics International. I am Phil. Joining me as always... It is the High Priest of Conchu, the man you know uh, who plays with himself all the time on YouTube. It is. Hey, everybody. Yeah, and no, I no, don't even have an only face. Welcome. Huh. Welcome, one and all. Hello, Phil. How you going? Hey, Hello. Dave. How are you? Hey. Happy to be here. And no, that is not a male model down there. That is Dave Finn of the Signal of Doom. Hey, folks. What, my first question is directed to Phil. What kind of videos do I get for five dollars, man? Like, what are you showing me? Show much skin, or like, you know, what you know, five dollars, five dollars in the Patreon? What am I seeing, man? Ah, you got to, you got to pay more than five bucks, man. Uh, Whoa! Oh, you, you know what? Pay- you know what? You get all, you get access to all the old videos when we were doing the worst superhero movie brackets. Charlie, Charlie Esser was topless. So, I mean, you can get some topless wow, Charlie Esser videos. Boobs. Yeah, yeah. Right. you can get boobs, wow, hey, man, boobs. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. right, yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least we're seeing something for five bucks. You exactly. Know like, you know, That's it. Yeah, got to see something. Great to Wet be here. Wet that whistle. Great to be here. I was, I was, just as we were about to record, we were off air, and I was in the middle of a rant, which is, I'm not going to name names, but I will say adults out there, adults, yeah. i.e. Yeah. above 18, and dare I say, even anyone above fucking 15. <laughs> If a fictional character <laughs> dies in a comic book, stop your fucking tears when you're told. Stop reacting like if someone shot your son, please. Grow up a little bit. And, I, you know, grow up just a little bit, a little tiny bit, because you have none of my respect if you're going to cry and weep and moan and, oh, no one told me, I didn't know this would be spoils. Don't hop on the internet. Don't, don't read the shitty fucking comment section. Do something with your lives. That's, that's we, my... We, we got a Dave on a good night, so... No, no, no. I just, it just, it, it just, it just puzzles me when I have adults who are responding like as if their whole existence hinges on some minor plot detail in the show or comic book. I mean, and, that's that's the yeah. new internet. I mean, people. I yeah. mean, they're sending writers death threats and stuff, which is like really. Yeah. Well, they they did that before before the internet. Remember that chat with Howard Mackey? And oh Terry yeah. They got they got letters. Yeah. Letters. In the post clone saga. Also, can I say, there. in my job, I've been threatened with death, and it hasn't phased me at all. It's mm. really an empty threat until the bar- gun barrels in your face. It's mere words. Could be, could be the sixth sense, Dave. Maybe you're already dead. Maybe this is all a figment oh. of your imagination. In which, in which case, I'm absolutely fine. You know. <laughs> 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 but um, it's a pleasure to be here discussing um Hulk, two issues of Hulk. Yes. Oh. Two Ooh. very random issues, can I Ooh. say? Who, who picked these, man? Like it's October, wow. baby! It's October. Oh, it's like Halloween. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was like, why, why are we doing these ones? You know what? I, know, I was gonna, I, I was gonna, like, why skip three six one? Like, I mean, but yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. see now. I see. No. And, no, and I, I and I, and I had completely forgotten three sixty isn't even a Peter David. It's like a guest oh, writer. Yeah, Paris. Paris. Yeah. Paris. Yeah. No. I, I have an interesting internet tidbit that I fell upon. Now I know Bob Harris. Was he not like at one point like the Avengers editor or something? Uh, he, was, he? he was an editor or something. He was a I'm long-running sure. editor yeah. at Marvel yeah. and, and a mm-hmm. bit of a writer. Yeah. I saw this thing where, you know Jim Shooter, Jim Shooter, you know how Jim Shooter, like, has a lot of um, sort of disputes, yeah? Mm-hmm. You know, he was quite stormy. He, I, I got onto this interview where he was slamming Bob Harris and Bob Layton, the Iron Man artist. Like, oh, not Bob Layton. He's awesome. Really? Yeah. No, really going after them. I yeah. I have no context. Obviously, some dealings went badly at Marvel. But I was yeah. like, wow. I mean, this guy wasn't holding back. He was calling, like, traitors and stuff. Oh, Jim Shit. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. yeah like, it really? seemed like a very uh, vol- volatile time around that time as well. Like, yeah. I, I even still remember the Doug Mensch chat I had with Doug mentioned he was just like he was going off on Jim Shooter. <laughs> well, I mean that's the, I, I mean I think that's the whole wrap up around yeah. uh, Jim Shooter's like yeah he was yeah. there he had a vision and he didn't 
care what feathers he ruffled. I mean, he was basically mm. the Dave Finn of that office. He, he just reminds yeah. me of me, the way you're describing him. I'm exactly. like, yeah. I'm liking the description. Yeah. Cloud ahead. Cloud ahead. Oh, and when uh, Lilith and I went to that convention this summer, Jim Shooter was there. Man is very, oh. That man is very tall. <laughs> Yeah, he's big. He? Yeah, he's big. Oh, I'm, yeah, like, he's si- got, I'm like six he's... foot. I was like looking up. But I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's got really pockmarked skin as well. Like, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I mean, he is an order. He is an order gentleman because, like, I you think he was Doctor Doom. He even has some yeah. trouble moving. Around. Oh, jeez, Ray. Oh, oh, yeah. No, he's got, and he's got the full on alcoholic nose. Mm. Kind of thing oh. going as well. Oh, like, yeah. the kind of the, yeah. the red. He is an order man. He has trouble. It looks like he might have trouble walking and stuff. But yeah, oh. it's, yeah. he's sounding more and more like me. Yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> But no, but I just thought it was interesting because when I saw Bob Harrison's name, it reminded me of this article I read recently where Jim Shooter yeah. was like he got slayed. Like, yeah. yeah, well, it was like Jim Shooter seemed to be one step away from you know ordering a hit from the time <laughs> of the article. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. um, but yeah, I did know Bob Harris. He might have was he at some point a Batman editor as well, or was he all Marvel? Because I know he was at the Avengers editor for a while in the nineties for quite some time. I think. Uh, it's probably the Avengers I'm thinking of. Wasn't he Fantastic Four as well at some stage? Maybe not. I think. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. He, he or was around. he X Men? Yeah. I mean, he, he yeah. might have been a. Uh, well, actually, now I'm remembering my own story. I believe he was the X Men, and they brought him over X-Men. to the Avengers, mm. and he tried okay. to make them a thing. Um, but anyway, it was interesting to yeah. see his name in the credits because I expected yeah. it to be Peter Absolutely. David because obviously it was one where Peter David was taking a rest. Yeah, I, I was. I saw that, and I was kind of like, oh no, how's or this be? I, not a. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a Peter David, but it was pretty good. Sorry, sorry. I no, I was gonna say I wonder if Peter David didn't want to write this issue just because we yeah discover Betty Banner loses the uh, baby because 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 Peter David wrote that uh, pregnancy in and then you know oh, someone else okay. is writing the miscarriage spoilers so I'm right. just I wonder if that was something had something well to it was do. kind of an aftermath issue though wasn't it like because well it, it well it, it, yeah, yeah she's already in the yeah, yeah well it's like yeah 345 is when that gamma bomb goes off 347 is when they start the Joe fix it in Vegas stuff and you hadn't seen Betty or Rick Jones in a while so this is like the first right. time you see in a while you've seen them so oh I see mm. Now I have. Um, can I do my brief spoiler-free Venom review because I watched it last night? Sure. No, oh, yeah, yeah. So um, I now for those who want the full spoiler review, it's on Signal of Doom. I just put the episode up today. I gave it seven point five out of ten. I I've enjoyed okay. all the Venom movies, like without loving them. I I, I would what, give. Sorry, Dave. What was the fir- what would you give the first two like? If this was a seven and a half, what were the others like? First one was probably a seven. I thought the second one oh. was about a seven as well, maybe a oh, seven point okay. five. Oh, so this I, one's I a, this one's a little better than the other two. Okay. I thought this one was. Um, it's it look. It's fun. It's very cheesy. It's silly, but it's fun. You know what I mean? It's it's not a deep movie at all. Like it's it's quite comedic. They've toned down the comedy from two just a tiny little bit. I I really enjoyed it. I really liked yeah. two. I thought two was fun, and this was very much carrying on with that. And I, I honestly had a good time with it. Michelle liked it as well. Okay. Um, it's very inessential. Like it's, it, this is, this is the kind of thing you'll put on, you'll enjoy it and you'll sort of forget about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tom Hardy's good in it. Yeah. Uh, there's also a good cast. It's quite small, the movie in a sense, like yeah. they stay in this area 51 area and most of the action happens there. It's not incredibly big. The special effects look good. Venom looks good. Um, other there's uh, some other symbiote stuff. I won't ruin it, but it looks good. There's a monster okay. that looks good. The only thing I will say is, if you're expecting a deep story about Null, it's not there. You know, oh he, no, okay, he, yeah, because he's there, right? Yeah, he's there at the start. You see him for two seconds at the end. It's really like he sends one of his agents, which is a monster, oh. who's who's the baddie. Like you see him, but he doesn't really do anything. You know, other than but would that be would that be a lead? They they're using that as a lead on, right, for potentially more venoms. Like, I mean, you wouldn't introduce no. Well, no. I don't know, man. Like, uh, oh, okay. it, it very very much is a wrap up. Uh, there okay. is an Easter egg. Uh, can I, there is an Easter egg for Flash Thompson, but you can blink and Ooh. you'll miss it. I, I picked Ooh. it up though, and I mentioned to Michelle. Gee, Michelle, uh, she, she, I tell you what, talk about missing it. She had no idea who Flash Thompson was. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. it's there. It's there towards nice. the end. There's, there's, but no, you don't get to feel, like they do tease him at the end, but it's kind of. Oh. It feels like yeah. Like, any any Spider Man. I mean, apart from Flash Thompson, any S- Spider Man. It's Sony. Why would Spider Man be in there? Uh, I don't none. know. Oh, they've still got Spider Man. I mean, they've still got yeah, they've still got Spider Man. At the they? beginning of the movie, the very beginning, he goes from 
where he was in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to his over universe, his normal universe, okay. um, right at the start. And so it's quite a funny scene. The bartender that he's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with talking to sort of it's like a imagine like a different looking person but quite similar looking just to show mm. that he's gone from one universe to another okay um yeah look it's look i enjoyed it like it was michelle enjoyed it too it, but, it, okay. but it's it's silly and it's fun and you know yeah it's, yeah it was well it's kind of, it sounds like it's on on theme with the the previous two films so I, yeah. I think after after the first film they thought oh we could really like we could really like why you know tune up the the comedy and i think yeah. that's what you got in the second and one. there's yeah. a fair bit of comedy if they've dialed it down yeah. probably slightly but i really liked that scene in venom 2 where he was doing karaoke and they do do a flashback <laughs> to that okay. um it, it's yeah. a fun movie i mean i feel i'll be okay. interested to see what your thoughts are yeah, uh, yeah. i mean it's saturday morning here uh me and my son are going early tomorrow then uh tomorrow uh evening lilf and i are going to do a review uh Capes okay. Lunatics episode three awesome. forty three kids yeah, alrighty okay. and I'll I'll hit you up on Facebook to hear what you think as well. Okay. Um, but I I enjoyed it yeah it yeah good. nice. Tom yeah. Hardy's very good too. He like I like I like Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy this would be close yeah. to unwatchable. There's actually a lot of Tom Hardy in this one. Um, okay. a little bit less Venom, but I must say when Venom turns into Venom, he looks really good. You okay. know? Yeah. I kept I thought of that several times. Like, gee, he looks good. You, no, you can't complain yeah. about how Venom looks to me. I think he really well, looks I, like... I, and, and so the special effects, because I remember in the first one, you know when the, the little head of Venom kind of comes out yeah. of Tom? And um, I remember those ones. The, the CGI looks pretty dodgy. Like, is, is there any... There's no... The CGI is pretty good in this third one. But like, look, all throughout. to my eyes it was. You know, exactly. I, I thought it yeah. looked really good. Um, there's less of that head than normal <laughs> okay. um, yeah, yeah. coming out. Like, it happens... There's a good sequence with the Asian lady from the shop. Oh, the shop, yeah. Okay. There's a yeah. little sequence with her. You really get the feeling like they're sort of wrapping it up and farewell. Yeah, yeah, body. tying up all the characters that. And just from, it's yeah. kind of like one last adventure. Yeah, the, what's it called? It's called the Last Dance, isn't it? Last so Dance, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, no, we've got a not a bet. We've got a thing going on. See, the will it make five hundred million worldwide? Because the original made about eight hundred. The second one made five hundred and nine. I said, I think the studio will be happy if this makes five to six hundred. Like, okay. And will, will it? I don't know. I don't know what the box office. We'll have to look at the box office after this weekend. I mean, because it could bomb. I mean, the word mm. of mouth on it is poor, but the word of mouth has been poor on every single one of the Venom movies. So that I, I bet you it would still do better than Craven. Oh, oh I'm sure it'd be a lot better movie too. Like, it's a competently made movie, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, it's, well, it's got the, it's got really wrong it's, with it. it's got the previous two movies to help prop it up as well you, you know so it's obviously doing something right when they can make a trilogy so um yeah exactly so yeah. I, look i'll be interested to see i'll be interested to see what you guys think um mm. and i also got just to wrap up this venom stuff i got that um black costume alien saga whatever you call it yeah like, i Thomas. saw that yeah yeah, yeah I, picked, I picked that up recently have you got that one nice. phil oh yeah yeah tom the falco ron friends yeah 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 it's a good nice. one man isn't it oh yeah like um i think that's a golden run of um oh, yeah. of, of Spider Man like that whole era, I actually picked up. Um, I realized I didn't realize it. Uh, I picked up the Eric Larson Michelini. Um, oh, nice! Yeah, that's a good one. Omnibus, but I've actually got the Venom uh, Spider Man Venom on Omnibus. Then I've got the um, uh, sorry Eric Larson uh, D- uh, Michelini, and then I've got Mark Bagley uh, Michelini. So it's the whole run of all of them together. And before mm. the Venom one, I've got um, I've now got the black costume, and then I've before that I've got the Roger Stern. So it's actually Lovely. a complete run if you look at Very it. Nice, yeah, it's good, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm pretty happy, and I didn't realize I had it all. And then when I was doing the math on it, I was like, oh, because I think it's a golden era of Spider Man. Really, mm. I really believe that. Oh, so, a lot of Spideys. So I, I mean, I'm a pretty the big runs... fucking deal now. You know, I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> I told I told this to Richard. He was we we're talking about Legion, and I said, "Listen, pal, Legion Outpost is doing really big numbers. I'm a big deal on the Legion of Superheroes world right now. I'm a big fan fucking deal." And he was like, "Dave, you could barely name ten of them." I go, "Yeah, <laughs> true, but regardless, <laughs> the, the show's big. You know, like I could pick Dream Girl out of a lineup." That's for sure. <laughs> I'm sure you could. I think I finally got some Dave Finn drops. I'm a big deal. I'm a big fucking deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 
it's true. I'm, su- I'm surprised you haven't got any drops. Before. I know I've been lazy, <laughs> but yeah, I think that I think I got to cut those up. Anyway, I'm, I'm that's, that's 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 you know that's kind of where I am, guys. I just a little yeah, bit nice. into the way things are going pretty well. Yeah, good to see Ray away from the fucking um. What is it? Really plays Marvel Snap. Or plays with himself, yeah. Yeah. Plays himself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I would love, one. I would love to walk in. And we see Whoa! Ray while Ray's playing, grabbing that deck. Wow. Playing cards with the devil. Playing what a deck. Snap with the devil. Oh he yeah. Remember he was shaking his like, deck. Yeah. Remember he was shaking his deck at the devil? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Ray. Like are we gonna see slapping you in the, Vegas? Slapping the day? devil's face with my deck. Are we gonna see you in Vegas one day playing this game, Ray? Like, drop. you know, for big money. I can do that whole thing, you know, the yeah, I can yeah. do all that. Yes, Ray, are we gonna see you playing with your deck for money? <laughs> only privately uh, oh my uh, private, only private if you chance. pay enough only if you pay, yeah. pay. Money oh, to play. The, the la- was it the last episode that I see you were swapping with someone where, so were you grabbing someone else's deck oh you hand it over where I play with the, uh, other people's decks yeah <laughs> it's a disgrace <laughs> but, you know what can I say that's Ray I mean he, we all know if we review the tape yeah. Ray was not here last last show, uh, fans, no, I, and I and I, no one satisfied with his excuses. Like, hey, no, come on, that was true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was true. So, well, look, we've accepted it, but I feel you here been, tonight, Ray. You know, I've been dragged through the mud through <laughs> whilst the mud. I was away. Jesus. Um, but yeah, no. Look, you're talking about Spidey. I know, you know, with Venom and all that. I, I think I showed you, Dave, as well. Like, I picked up. Um, Dave, you got it anyway. Brood Saga, uh, X Men, epic. Oh flight. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good. very cool. That's really good. I love that lot of kind of era. That, that's oh, uh, good era, man. Was yeah. that seventies, eighties? It's quite early. It's eighties, but I think it's early kind 80s. of early eighties. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. That's a good. Mm. Um, that's a good period for X Men. Yeah. Really good. Well, actually, I, I mean, I've got that in the. But I'm reading. Um, still. I've got a Deadpool epic collection. Uh, I think it's Joe Kelly. I think it right. is. And uh, I just early, early X-Force. So Liefeld, mm-hmm. Fabian, the wow. Um Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's good. I, I think that Deadpool Joe Kelly run is, is some of the most entertaining comics yeah. I've mm. ever read. Yes. I, I, I really, yes. I rate it so highly. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. It is very good. Um, yeah. People and like, you know, Deadpool, Deadpool's very polarizing. People kind of like, yeah, they either like him or there are a lot of people that just really can't stand him. I think it's because of the humor, but um, there's some really good like comics. Dedicated Basically, to me, so. you, people are lucky that they're not in a police state run by me because if they made those comments about Deadpool, they would find themselves terminated. Hung, you know? hung. Well, I, th- yeah, I think I think not everyone can rate Deadpool. It's like there's a certain art to rating like the humor yeah, of Deadpool, yeah. and like Dave Absolutely. said, I think Joe Kelly nails it. Yeah, oh, he does. Yeah, he's yeah. so good at it. Like um, another good Deadpool run is Cable Deadpool, which I think oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to get the re- It's that. a really yeah. it's a really good run. It's underrated yeah. actually. Um, it, but but see, I would consider that. Um, I would consider Joe Kelly. Jerry Duggan and Fabian Jerry... Schiazzi in Table Deadpool like are my favourite runs. Jerry Duggan. There's, Jerry, there's a Jerry. lot of poor runs mixed in. Gee, some people have done some poor runs, especially recently. Some yeah. very poor runs. And and frankly, people that should be drummed out of the business for just how oh, poor they geez. are. You know? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I'm past the point oh, where I get to... my feelings or thoughts. Yeah. You know, that's so, over. So, so Phil and, and Dave, maybe – you're alluding to that. How how is Cody Ziegler's? Uh, I only got issue one. I I didn't go further. But how is that? Is it no no good? I don't Pass. Know. I can't remember. Dave can't remember. I, I did yeah. read one, but it was very forgettable. But but there've been a lot of forgettable Deadpool runs recently. I like, did. I must. Four runs. Phil, did you did you still collect that? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's all right. I mean, right now, Deadpool's technically dead, and the daughter's running yeah. around. So. Uh, so I feel though, like, and it's only off that first issue though. But I feel though that he didn't really get the voice of Deadpool. Like, he didn't sound like Deadpool. Yeah, I, get uh, I don't know your thoughts about that, Phil. But um, also, yeah. why is Deadpool dead, and why is the daughter running around? No one wants that. You know, nobody wants that. Nobody wants it. You know, this is Ironheart all over again. Oh, so, uh, oh! Speaking yeah. of, oh, speaking of hot takes, uh, this this Wednesday night, uh, it's probably gonna be Sorry. it's probably gonna be Thursday morning for you guys. But Wednesday night, yes, Loth and I are going to uh, throw our three Ultimate Spider Cast episode oh, three hundred party because it's Zeb yeah. Wells' last issue. So, well, yeah, oh, oh, nice. we're gonna be all about God. the 
all about this farewell to Zeb Wells. So. And speaking of Joe Kelly, isn't he doing a run after that? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Eight deaths, of, eight deaths of Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know? awesome. Yeah, which which we're going to do on the show. Actually, I'm going to be doing those. Uh, uh, nice, issues. nice. Zeb Wells' he... run is just terrible. Like I checked it a couple of times. I just like talk about Joe... not getting Spider Man. Yeah. Is Joe Kelly? Is he? Is he old? Like, how old is he? Is he still? He's probably in his mid fifties by now. Okay, so oh, so easy. He, he can. Easily, yeah. Because I was going to say that. I was going to say that Deadpool run he did was like late nineties. So, yeah, yeah. I no, I've, I've chatted to him oh, a bit on, okay. on 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 Twitter and stuff. He, he's a really nice guy. He's actually a very yeah. nice guy, and um, mm. seems very humble considering the amount of success he's had with all these shows, mm. like TV shows as well. Um, like he he did Ben Ten. Oh, that was his show. Oh, yeah. mm. the Man of really? Action. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's his show. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And is they, he man? Is he Man of Action? Is that Joe? He's Kelly? one of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Him and um, there's a few, there's a few others. Um, so he's uh, done Joe Casey, Joe Kelly, and yeah. there's a couple of others. So he's done um, Earth's Mightiest Heroes as well. Man of Action does a lot yes. of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And he's and uh, Ultimate Spider Man. And oh wow! Things. Great, they've been, involved. Yeah, yeah. they've been involved with some. Sometimes their involvement is less so than others, but they did create Ben Ten. That was them. So. They created Ben Ten. Wow! Yeah, yeah. That Jeez. was that was that was their original property. There's another one as well that I can't think of the name of, but uh, yeah, no, he's a, he's a cool guy. He's really cool. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, look, I, I always keep an eye on his stuff because he he really can turn in some really cool work. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what? Eight deaths of Spider Man. I mean, uh, yeah, it's gonna and it's also gonna deal with Doctor Doom, the new Sorcerer Supreme. So, yep, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll be checking it out. You know what? That sure. that runs been garnering a lot of interest because Dave was asking me when that starts. I know Russell was asking me about it. So, uh, I mean, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. I think are about Dr. to Dane. jump back on board Spider Man now that well. Yeah, people want to hop back on board Mar- Marvel's flagship character. You know what I mean? They, they're sick mm-hmm. of it being stuck in the in the second news lane and um. It is cool. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, but he's such a cool character. You can't not not follow Spidey. I don't know. That's just me. Can I say something? You know what I'd like to see Spidey do in the next, like, little while? Put on the black suit again. Why not? For oh, a, yeah. year, for a year cool. or so. For a year That'd or so. Cool. I, love, I love that suit. I'd be all down for that. Yeah. yeah. I love that suit. I actually just, the, the, they put out a, a, a wave of Marvel Legends of the Secret Wars, which includes the black suit. Yeah. And also the brown and tan Wolverine. I ordered both. Ooh, brown They're and tan. Coming. Yeah. The brown and tan. Yeah, the Secret Wars uniforms of everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Friday era. Yeah, so uh, Friday era. I love I love Dave Finn asking for permission to say something. That's like a guy kicking the door in and be like, "Can I come in?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Apologies, Phil. Uh, no, no, no. Spray, hey, spraying, hey, spraying the room with a machine gun. And Dave, just, you're oh, always welcome here, oh. and I always know what you bring to the party. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm in a good mood, so you know, we're talking <laughs> about Spidey. It's just hard to. Uh, I, you know, I've I've got at least these Spider Man omnibus, omnibuses recently, and it's just a great yeah. time. I know, so, man. Those are some great runs. I know. It's yeah. good. You know. Yeah. I'd love to get um, one of my reg- regrets. I've had a few to quote uh, Frank Sinatra. One of my regrets is when I first started seeing La Doom, I reached out to David Michelini a couple of times, and he just he said, "Sorry, mate, I've actually just given up doing podcasts." Yeah, you know oh, what? Wow. I, you know what? Yeah, I know that's true because I tried the same, and he, I got the same answer. So yeah. Oh, and to yeah. be fair, to be fair to him, he is so nice, and he has yeah. answered questions on like Facebook, you know, Messenger mm-hmm. that I've read yeah. it on the show. Like, it's not like the guy doesn't communicate. Um, He's so nice, and I get the feeling okay. maybe his hearing may have gone a little bit or something like okay, that. Okay, yeah, yeah. There yeah. might be some reasons why he doesn't yeah, want to get yeah. in behind yeah. the and, mic. And you, so. and you, no, I only ask him once. You don't need you don't yeah. badger these people, but he yeah. has been lovely to deal with over the years. Like just a nice mm. guy, you know. They're nice. Yeah, mm. yeah. Michelini's run. I mean, uh, he at the time, I guess he was overshadowed by you know artists were the rock stars back then sure, in the but 90s he was good, man. but he's his run was good i mean he had mcfarlane and, and larson and you know like Mark Bagley, and, he, yeah. and i told him this Bagley. the first the first issue of marvel comics that i bought with my own money was an iron man issue of his and i always mm. remember it was him and bob later on art i, I always remember that like, yeah well, I mean, we talked yeah. about this well didn't we like the um michelini did the uh the doom and iron yeah. man yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what? He well, he actually he actually did fantastic. one run, and then they did that Denny O'Neill run, and then yes, Michelini yeah. comes yes. back and Come does back. another run. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, he did the original run back in the I want to say seventies, and then they came back in the sort of mid eighties, which is when I got it. Hmm. Um, and 
and I remember loving it. And then mm. obviously I realized he'd done all the Spider Man, and he's just a really good uh, writer. He he did some um, Chuck Dixon pointed me to some unknown soldier that he started uh, that Michelini did like early in his career. It's really good, yeah, like nice. late seventies, early eighties when he was just breaking in. Mm. Um, no, he's a, I, I think he's underrated to be honest. You know, oh yeah. In terms oh no, of like, he, is, he is. You know, people throw a lot of names around. I think he's in the conversation. You know, yeah. To, you know, and I think he was quite consistent. He's quite consistent. Like he was, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, his quality definitely, was right. consistent. So, I think he did some yeah. like no, a, he was a bench rock for yeah. a long time. A lot of Avengers too, I think. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. 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 He should be on that mountain. You know, like where they do like the ten creators. Oh yeah. David Michelini, Chuck Dixon, JM. <laughs> but why not? C.B. Sabol- Sabolsky. Uh-oh. Sabolsky. Yeah. <laughs> C.B. Sabolsky. C.B. Down there on the ground in rubble with Brevoort, that coward. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like just re- walking around the ruins of greater writers trying to, you know, work out. You know, I had to dangle that, ca- had to dangle that carrot. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Or should we say his real name, Akira Yoshida? You know. Well, how about Tom King then? <laughs> oh! Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Mr. Like, like, but that's the thing. Like, yeah. people. Uh, now, now, Ray, now, Ray's just naming his favorite Batman writers. Okay, Batman, <laughs> like, my favorite character. It's so funny to me that Tom King is is for some reason held in high regard at DC, but yet you notice something. He writes minor characters in miniseries. Doesn't that say something to you? He he's not on major big yeah, characters. Okay, it's like, I, hey, yeah. I, who wants to see? The fucking human target in a miniseries. Oh, look who we've got, Tom King. Yeah, no one gives a shit. So, but, but like, but like, it's like they had him on Batman, and they got him off that quickly when when the tide turned. Well, yeah. He's like a critical darling, but then you read the work and you're like, a lot of it's very average. Again, a lot. I, I mean, a lot. It seems like it, that there's an art to writing the big flagship characters, and not everyone can do it. It's like oh, yeah. some yeah. people you know, they need to stay on those smaller characters. It's like. I don't know where he's going, but Bendis. I mean, Bendis. I, yeah. Bendis he's is better. Bendis is better on his, the characters he created. He tries to yeah, write yeah. someone else's character, and it's just I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I think he's good. I just get a feeling like we've we've seen enough Bendis. Like I don't mind that he's retreated into nothingness because mm. yeah, he's got he's know, got like a pretty good legacy, you know, with some really good runs, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he does. They're all in the past, but he's got it. Yeah, he's no, but I mean, that's out, still. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's still you know something, isn't it? Like, he's also he, got he, some horrible runs, like his Legion he of Superheroes run. He you know? does, he does some terrible. And he's runs. brought characters to us like Naomi that no one wants. Naomi, you know? the TV sheer- series did, available did on Blu-ray. Create, did he create Ironheart? Is that Bendis? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It reeks of Bendis. Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It does reek um, of Bendis. Yeah, it does. Uh, that was a guess. That was a guess. I, I tried to think of no, the race. Yeah, no, yeah, he created Spot her on. during his Iron Man run. Yeah. yeah. Spot yeah. on. Yeah. I've not yeah, anyway. this one bit. Uh, another good writer is, of course, Peter David. Uh, and it was, you were talking about Bob Harris. Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, for that first Hulk issue, 360, the Bob Harris one. Uh, so, yeah, what wow. you what you boys think? Nightmare and Despair. I, I thought Dave, you would have loved it because of Despair. Like, aren't you a big Despair fan? Like, up there with Judas Traveler, isn't he? Like, <laughs> me? <laughs> despair. Yeah, I, I thought you I thought you liked Despair for some reason. No? No. I, no? No. Okay. I, like, I, I'll give Who you my it? thoughts on this. Like, okay. it's a competent issue, <laughs> but I hate these kind of issues that are in dream. I think they're so cheesy. Wow. Like in, like not only was this cheesy as in they're in dreams and it's like the personifications of like, like all stuff that Neil Gaiman did. I know we're not supposed to say his name, but did a lot better. But like, if this is like, they put them in dreams and then they, they, you know, pretend like the baby's back and then they meet up in the dream. It's just, I find it just eye rollingly obvious just lame as hell. It, it was kind of just a plot device because yeah. Bruce and Betty weren't together yet. So, you know, they were still know, separated. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but, but like the idea of it is good. The execution mm. is just so lame. It, and, mm. and it has the two of them arguing about how to do it. Like, look, it's, I get it. It's a filler issue. It's competent. I'd give it six out of 10. But mm. in a lot of ways, I hate it because it's, it's so. It's just so cheesy. It's so weird because there's like a major plot point happens, like the miscarriage, Mm. 
But meanwhile, you, you have you have a guest writer and artist on this. That's mm. what. That's why I'm thinking something went down with Peter David. And he's like, no, I ain't. Yeah. Re- you want to do that miscarriage? You bring someone in to do it. I ain't doing yeah, it. And, and so yeah. the editor probably uh, Bob Harris wrote it, and I mean, it's possible. Like, it's not like, mm. oh my god, this is terrible. It's possible, but it reeks filler issue. To yeah, me. yeah. Well, right. I, I I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I haven't read that much like dream sequence stories before. Like, you know, as you say, obviously, Neil Gaiman. You've read but... one, you've read them all, Ray. They're all like <laughs> this, my friend. Yeah, but no, this was, I mean, I don't get to see much of Despair as well. And I like Nightmare. I think Nightmare's a really cool villain. Um, so for them to kind of fight, so to speak, you know, the old, the old, uh, the old competition. Like doing but to do it like just in the dream world, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and the fact that, you know, it's actually kind of like not, it's kind of like not happened because despair hasn't won and nightmare hasn't won. So it kind of fades off into nothing and they'll forget about it. It just becomes like an actual dream or a nightmare. It's not. So I I thought that was fun because then like you can imagine, Oh, you know, so if you have a nightmare or whatever, yeah. Is there some machinations of a supervillain in some other dimension doing it? Um, you know what I mean? So it kind of like our grounds, like the, the purpose of nightmare and, and despair, the characters, so I thought that was pretty fun. Um, uh, yeah, the whole, the, I mean, now, well, that was written a long time ago. Like, now you get the the thing like the baby and it's in the pram and then it bursts out to be this grotesque monster. That's kind of stuff of horror. That, that was that, that was that, fun. That was the only scene in it that I liked where, where yeah. it came out. It was kind of hulkish because that yeah. would play into someone's fears like Betty mm-hmm. that she would have a child that would carry the whole, you know, genetics or whatever. Yeah. That yeah. was the only scene I actually liked. In mm. it, to be honest, okay. I, that yeah, was I mean scene. that was, yeah, I mean that was that was a good scene. Um, I also kind of really liked how, like how Despair calls himself is a bit of an artist, right? But I just like how how slack he is. Like you know, he really builds up all these hope for Betty, and like she's ah oh, Thunderbolt Ross and uh, and and Talbot. Oh, you're back. Oh, you're alive. And oh, you know, my little kid has a grandfather now. And Nightmare's going, what is all this crap? And Despair's going, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm a master doing my stuff. And then he tears it all away, and it's like, oh, you bastard. I, I, I do. I, do. <clears throat> I did kind of like that theme where it's basically yeah. just, you know, the, you know, Nightmare's like, oh, I get it, I get it. Then he tries something, and Despair's like, no. He's like, I'm an artist. You're like a little, street, yeah. you know, street yeah. art punk. And, uh, yeah, no, this uh, this issue was kind of like some of my first ex- exposure to Nightmare and Despair. So I remember thinking, oh, these guys must always work as a team team like this but they don't so you know because as i yeah. read more stuff i'm like oh yeah they, i guess they don't work together usually but yeah i my first one of my first encounters with the characters i'm like oh so these guys are always like the cisco and ebert like movie like reviewers or, yeah I, yeah i've never read a single comic with either of them i don't think ever really like, never despair. Not, i thought night, i thought night I, I mean despair is more nightmare. of like a uh like a niche character almost but i, I swear nightmares done a lot nightmare's of pretty maybe, yeah. like maybe yeah. nightmare i have seen in ghost rider or something yeah but... yeah you know what i bet you uh yeah yeah in ghost wasn't rider, he yeah. at least an issue of uh jmd mateus's ghost rider uh yeah but, yeah but like honestly guys i find this kind of stuff honestly pretty lame um especially the marvel way of doing it i I honestly feel like if you're going to do these there's a word for it it's not anthropomorphic but like it's very similar to like sandman you know you've got despair in that and you've got death and you've Mm -hmm. got destruction it's done so much better like this is like the cheap cut price budget like the timu version (laughs) yeah this is like the shit version that's pumped out and yeah. it's not done the, like it's done possibly like six out of ten they're lucky to get yeah it. but the thing is though it's not it's because in sandman and all that everything is built around that well this is just one issue so like they, they can throw it away and it's, it's it, not it, yeah and it's a fill and yeah. i always feel like you got a grade on a curve like again i yeah. i swear there had to been some mission statement from some editor or I something to like get rid of that baby but game. otherwise it was a fill mm-hmm. like it's, yeah like we said it's a fill in it's a guest writer yeah. guest artist where it's like you, besides the whole baby thing, I don't think you know guest writer. You can't really affect the ongoing narrative. I so yeah. I, I know I'm just complaining because I just I've just seen it done so much better elsewhere, and it's always the same with dream issues. Like it was so pretty good. I also can I just say this is I'm going to say something now that that might shock all of you. Like there's a real tendency in um, comic books and also genre uh, like um, TV shows 
that where they use the the love of the characters to sort of like bind them together and mm. save them, and it's yeah, really it just a power. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's literally like a belie- hey, close your eyes and like clap and like Tinkerbell with Tinkerbell to see the rest. <laughs> like it's really fucking childish. I, I mm. really hate it. Like with yeah, the passion, yeah. I hate it. Like, yeah. and you see it in comic books when they're run out of ideas. It's like if you start a story with the guy being um, what's the word amnesia. It's what mm. you do when you don't have a story. Okay, it's it's like I don't have a story, but this will get me started. Every writer's yeah. done it at some point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. To me, this is the power of love is the same thing. But I but, hate it. but you also yeah, need, I know yeah. I know what you make them. Yeah. But you also need a kind of like a trope or something like that for a story like this, Dave, because it's like they are in a nightmare realm. Hulk can't just punch his way out of this. Mm. Oh yeah, so and and pretty. how more what what's more appropriate as well when you have like the as you say the embodiment of despair and like horror, um, and and I think despair says is it well oh love's the only thing that can you know. Um, foil me or something like that. You know, it's so, a, it's one of the things. What's the opposite of despair? It's like yeah, love yeah, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, it's not love. That's the, it's just the opposite <laughs> of despair. Isn't love? Like you know, like it's what would you say? Hope is the opposite. Hope, of probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like this is the yeah. thing. Like, like when you get down to like, I'll oh, just close your eyes and believe in the yeah. power of love. That's where I my eyes roll out of my yeah. fucking skull because I'm I just would be... like we have lost any meaning of a story now. It would be interesting though, because like you know, if if it wasn't that, it's pretty hard to get out of that realm. Then, right? I can't think of any other way. <laughs> any other way? I felt so. like I was trapped in a nightmare reading it, frankly. Um, <laughs> oh I, but I was very interested, but more so than for me. And I knew what my thoughts would be, and I feel I'm being generous. Give me things. I'd be interested in hearing your guys' scores because you liked it more. Ray, yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, seven out of ten. I think it was a, uh, it was. Oh, uh, actually, probably not. Six and a half. It was. Mm. It was good. Good boy, Ray. Good boy, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! It was good, but I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like you know, it wasn't groundbreaking or anything like that. But I, I really enjoyed it. Like you, you could probably, you could argue that, um, that there might be a bit too much dialogue, you know, and that could be a little bit like a, of a slog to get through. But I, I honestly just read it. I enjoyed, yeah, reading everything. So, sure. um. Yeah, so six and a half. Yeah, how about you, Phil? I mean, I'll give it a seven. I don't know. If yeah. There's a lot of nostalgia there, but and again, like I said, I I guess I kind of give it a little bit of a pass just because it is a fill-in art is, or fill-in team. That is team true. And... That is a good point, Phil. That's a good point. Uh, if if anything as as well, and this is something that I think Peter David's kind of instilled through more than Bob Harris, but he picks it up in this issue, and we see it in three six two is I love this kind of interplay now, like this more direct interplay between Bruce Banner and the Hulk, the, mm. the mind. Yeah. Yeah, like like it, yeah, it's not, you know how it's not just, oh, I'm Bruce and I, I've been in a dream and I can't remember what the Hulk did. There's actually yeah. an interaction between the two. And um, I was just thinking about it. It's more so in 362, but it's when the Hulk actively uh, influences Bruce and vice versa um, mm. because they, yeah, they're two minds in one body. It is know. interesting. I tell you mm. another. There was one other little scene that I liked in this. It was where I forget if it was Despair or the other guy, but one of them was guiding Bruce through, and he was changing from Bruce to the Hulk. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I, yeah. And he he made a comment about it. See, if I was writing it, I would make that be a bigger part of the story because I thought that was mm. a good good idea. Yeah. Um, and he just sort of mentioned it how it was. He was flicking between the two, even in the dream state, because they're vying for supremacy. Yeah. See, I, yeah. I agree. I thought that was interesting. So there were there were two scenes that I liked. Mm. It was the baby turning into the Hulk and yeah. that part. I thought they were quite good. The rest of it, as Phil yeah. was saying, you've got to remember it's a fill-in. They've got to yeah. punch out 23 or 24 pages. Mm-hmm. And and they've also got to tie up this thing with, like, she's had the, I assume, miscarriage? Mm-hmm. From, yeah. Am I right? Yeah. 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 And you've got to tie that up. Gee, they don't spend a lot of time on that. And, and they sort of wipe their hands of that pretty quickly. And then she's like, oh, I'm okay now at the end. And you're sort of like, okay, um, that that's a, that, of, yeah, that that's the other thing I wondered that it maybe it like tied his hand, Bob Harris's hands on this issue is maybe, you know, you know, because there was like edit, there's probably I I feel there was an editorial mandate to get rid of that baby, so mm, there's yeah, maybe yeah. a lot of editorial uh, well, it interference. Be the first time they did a very similar thing with Spider Man, didn't they? Yeah, the end of the Clone Saga. Yeah, they wanted yeah, everything back yeah. to status quo. Peter Parker's back as Spider Man, and it's like, yeah, get rid of that baby, so. Hmm. And I, I wonder now if they regret that because they've seen Batman and to a lesser extent mm. Superman have a lot of success with their kids. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, they've well, successfully, it's become... you know, done it well, really. Yeah. You? I mean, like you see Spider Woman, you see Moon Knight as well. Um, 
all like, has Midnight have got kids. a kid? Does he have yeah. a kid? Yeah. Really? How yeah. old is his kid, Ray? A uh, girl, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, she, she looks older, maybe like eight or ten or something like that. Oh, so she's reasonable. Is it what's her name? Is it Marlene? Yep. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> Dave's already, but, Dave's they're, already but they're not in his life right team. now. <laughs> yeah, he's already picturing how how she was conceived. <laughs> yeah, I am. I was literally that was my thoughts. Well, I thought it would make sense, you know, and, yeah. and then potentially you can get Marlene coming back as the ex, and then the hijinks start. Yeah. You know, she's flaunting around the mansion and some. Do we, we mentioned we mentioned Sydney Sweeney as Marlene, right? I'm sure we did. Oh, Every yeah. episode. Oh, by the way, speaking yes. of Sydney Sweeney, I had to take this off the tracks, but they're doing a Sammy Davis movie where she's where about Sammy marrying Kim No or relationship with Kim Novak in the late fifties, and Sydney Sweeney's playing Kim Novak, who was a bombshell beauty in her day. Oh so, wow! And there's a lot of speculation on Signal of Doom, primarily by me, about who will play Sinatra and Dean Martin in the movie because it was the height of the rap pack. Who do, who, so, do you think, who do you think? I, I came up with, I could only think of one person that I feel would do it well, and that's Bradley Cooper. Play mm. Sinatra. Ah. I think you think Sinatra. Yeah. Well, who, who have you got, Ray? If you, and Phil, I'd, who do you think of Sinatra? No. I, I who could know. play Sinatra in a movie with also starring Sydney Sweeney? I think there's has only, to be a young, a young Sinatra. I right? think there's only one yeah. choice. I think it's Dave Finn. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> Gee, I would love to get in there. and. I said, I pitched this to Richard. I said this should be the start of a series of movies about the Rat Pack and their relationships, and it could end, go from the late 50s, 57, 58, which is when it was really kicking up, the Rat Pack, mm. through to the end of the 60s, and you could have actors playing Dean Martin, Dean Martin as well, and it could end with Sinatra doing My Way, and that's how you could wrap it up that's at the good. end of the 60s. Yeah, that's good. yeah, give me a sequence of movies like that. You know, that's, and you could use the same actors. Through that's it. almost, David, it's almost as good as your pitch for, like, Ghost Rider picking someone up from the airport. Yeah. Was that your punishment? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, he, and he picks up Frank Castle, he turns around Frank Castle, and then yeah. he goes to flame. Yeah. 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 yeah I yeah. pitched that many times on the show yeah. to a lot of resistance from my old co host, Stuart. And uh, I kept pitching it. <laughs> Jesus Stuart. Christ, I kept pitching it. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, um, Marvel Knights. I was still pitching it. I'd love have it. No ba- he had to have no bar of it. I, I, I threw in Moon Knight as well. I threw you a bar. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, to get you involved, I said, put Moon Knight in the back. and and potentially, now that I'm thinking about it, couldn't one of Moon Knight's personas was a cab driver? So he could yeah, drive. Jake Lockley. There you go. So yeah, I'm, thinking, right I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get everyone in that cab, man. Oh wait, you know, does does Rand like Moon Knight? Oh, that's uh, I guess I guess yeah. he did an ep- just did an episode. <laughs> okay, Batman. yeah. Marvel's Batman. Oh like, come on! Oh, that's oh, that is a, that is a I I mean you know what David know. Pepo's called him right? It's Egyptian Batman. <laughs> oh, no. That's David right. Pepo's comic book writer. Yes, it's Egyptian. How dare Batman. you? How dare you? Anyway, you know, I, I'm just impressed that Moon Knight's had a kid. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I tell you someone wow. else who I would would be. Um, I was thinking. To, was, how do you say her name? Tigra. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. doesn't yeah. doesn't he knock boots with her? He's kind of with her right now, right? Right. She's yeah. got a yeah, yeah. And she's, she's in got the book a kid now. now as well. Yeah, she has a kid. Uh, I. Seriously, I wish they'd do an R-rated Moon Knight comic and have a threesome with Tiger, Marlene, and um, whatever his oh. name is, Moon Knight. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> like that would be awesome. Like they, that I wouldn't would, be a three, would... that wouldn't be a threesome. That would be like a quintessence. Yeah. Like this three with all the personalities. Yeah, <laughs> it could get real, real crazy. It could get really nuts. And that's what yeah, I would like. Yeah, to see. yeah they got a kid put together, put Dave. Dave, in, Dave. Dave. Yeah, yeah, he has a kid with Marlene. Man, he gave her the full moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, a lot's happening in Moon Knight, it seems. Oh, the days I just I just reviewed it. Discuss Fist of Conchu. Oh, awesome. Fist of Conchu number right. one. Yeah, yeah so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's back to street level, Dave. It's back to good. It's Mr. Back Knight to punching Mr. punching drug dealers in the head. Yeah, Mr. That's Knight. What I, that's yeah. what I like to see. That's, uh-huh. that's, that's what I like to see. Punching guys Who's in the head, thre- that? threatening Who's guys. Your boy Jeb McKay writing that. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, Jed McKay. Uh, although the artist Alessandro Capuccio's uh, announced his his ending his run, which is really sad. Um, but you know, artists have to do their thing, obviously. Yeah. Um, sure. But yeah, yeah. But he he did great stuff for Moon Knight. It was good. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. Now turning to this other issue, I yep. felt the three six two was much improved. Mm. I felt, well, it's Peter I, Peter I David's really back. Peter, <laughs> Peter David. Yeah. Yeah, I really. Um, I must say, I don't think I've read this issue before, or if I have. It was a long time ago, but more so than just the uh, werewolf by night. I really like the interplay mm. stuff with um, 
what's her name? Is it Marlo? Marlo, Marlo. Yeah. Marlo. Yep. Yep. And and how it ended with this line where um he says, But not me, I don't need anything or anyone. Is that mm. what you really believe, Joe? And he says, I have to, and she hugs him goodbye and then he leaves. Yeah. Like I, I actually felt this was actually a really good issue of, yeah. of Hulk, you know? Uh, I mean, especially when it touches the like with Marlo and it touches that sort of stuff is like Peter David is great as as good as he is with action and comedy and stuff. Uh, he really does kind of get like you know Mar- they had this whole thing because uh, he was also Joe Fixit was actually angry at her because she broke up with him and there's that bit yes. where he's thinking I could just sit here and just watch that let werewolf the werewolf tear apart yeah. 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 But you know, you know, he's a hero, so he, you know, I couldn't just sit and watch that happen. You know, mm. um, well, so, no, yeah, he, yeah. I would say yeah. I feel bad for Rick Jones because he starts dating her after this, and I'm just like, mm. really? I mean, uh, as a uh, as a lover, you got to follow Joe Fix It. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> funny, man. That's a funny yeah. fucking comment. Dude. <laughs> 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 it is, it is funny. Uh, yeah, but, that, uh, I didn't really think of that. That's actually hilarious. But also as um, well, like, yeah. I, I love the, again, I love the pop culture references, Peter David, with the Coyote and the Roadrunner. Yeah. Uh, there's that uh, little bit yeah. where they're werewolves chasing it. Because he does, he does this throughout all his comic, oh, most of his and, comics. And right? the werewolf catches the Coyote and eats him too, doesn't he? Yeah. And it's a pet of this guy. What's it? The, yeah, the, um, that's right. The old Indian guy. Yeah. Mm. George yeah. or whatever uh, was it. He just, he, I, he gets I, hammered too. That guy dies. No, Does he well, die? He's, I mean, he's the, under the hood. He's under the hood. Yeah, he's, he's under the like, hood, oh, checking the yeah. engine or whatever. Yeah, and the, the, the werewolf comes down on top of I, it. So I don't. I just, I just love it. It's almost like Quentin Tarantino esque, where it's kind of you get these random characters come in, and it's somehow all tied. Like he, he's a big fan. Like his pet coyote is the coyote we see, and yes. that connects him to the werewolf. And like he, and then he meets up with, or he bumps into Marlo because her she run a truck into a cactus. Um, yeah. And then so and yeah, you know, so I love how this like this collision of these random characters kind of come mm-hmm. together. Well, it's um, a good yeah. way to tie it all together in one issue, so he gets through mm. a lot of story as opposed to but, the drag yeah. it out stuff of today. You know, I mean, but if you look at it, there's no reason apart from um, from technique wise using that Indian guy. The only reason he's there is probably just to give Mar- Marlo a lift, right? So Peter David had to think, okay, so what? How can I? Mm. What is this guy doing? And then so he builds this thing around the guy about him loving that coyote. And, yeah. yeah really well, good. and again, she was on her way to meet up with Bruce, and that's kind of yeah. that that delays her, and that kind of you know that's why she doesn't get the Bruce, and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, she because of the rabbit, mm-hmm. which I'm assuming I assumed was the same rabbit that the werewolf let go, right? Oh, yeah, um, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I thought yeah, that so... well, it seemed to be that way. When you, if you read it, it sort of flows yeah. on. Yeah, um, so again, so all these little things all come together. I thought it was really good. I, I just want to also raise that point that I said earlier. It was in this issue with um, Bancroft, right? And this leads into Countdown. Was it Countdown? Um, oh, with Phil, the Mad Phil Stearns. Yeah, yeah, that's Mad Men. Yeah, 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 Phil yeah. Stearns, uh-huh. Mad Men. But, um, ba- but Bancroft is there um, working at Yucca Flats um, as a janitor. But I love it how um, the Hulk gives him a headache until he calls Marlo. Mm. And then he's like, oh. Yeah. The headache's gone. Cool. Yeah, because no, uh, yeah, because yeah. we see that in the beginning of the issue. Yeah, where like right yeah. before they're about to change at sunrise. Yeah, Bruce and the Hulk are having a talk in their head, and it's Hulk, you yeah. know, and Joe's like, "Go, you know, I want to see her, even if it's through your eyes." And yeah. then Bruce is like, "No, no, no, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you terrorize that poor girl anymore." And yeah, that's a, that's when the werewolf I, first attacks, and the, you know, and then. You know, yeah. Banner's like, no, 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 they're about, they're like, the sun's about to come up. And even Joe's like, you know, if we change right now, you know, we're yeah. dead because Banner's not going to be able yeah. to fight the werewolf. So, yes, he's able I've to hold off. The... So when, when when he um had to call Marlo with mm. the headache, I thought that was because of the werewolf attack. But that's that's the Hulk in his mind. Yeah, no, that was the, yeah, Hulk, the Hulk exerting Hulk, like yeah. physical pressure. He's like, yeah, no, go no, call her. Yeah, I got you. Because I thought yeah. at first that was tied into I thought he was going to. Yeah, because he was in the middle of a thought. It was. A, yeah, he was in the middle of a thought about, you know, the whole situation. And that's when the yeah. Hulk puts the pressure on. So him the, call the Hulk in the head somewhere is uh, pushing him. To, I, yeah. I also want to comment. I really like the cover. The, I thought the art yeah, was, that was I really was, cool. I thought it was yeah. really striking. Yeah. yeah. Unusual looking. And, I, and um, look, I, I actually loved this issue. I'd give this issue like an 8.5 out of 10. I, re- I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a good issue. Yeah, it, it's really cool because it's a, a comparison, isn't it? The very first thing I thought of 
when Jack Russell transforms to human and, and he, he finds that old abandoned um, facility, mm. I'm just thinking, oh, this is just like, this is classic Hulk, right? Mm-hmm. And so this is Hulk and Hulk fighting um, a creature in the did, desert and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. there was just like, I love the just the the parallels between that. Um, but yeah, yeah. But yeah I, I'd give it I'd give it a, a solid eight as well. Um, or oh, maybe even more because yeah, it just it just reads so well, doesn't it? And yeah. and the art the art is really good. Too. Is that it's is great. that Perv's? It's yeah, pervs, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I don't. Know, people may or may not like Perv's and stuff. I do like Perv's. Um, yeah. I, 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 I don't love pervs. I like <laughs> There's a drop. There's a drop. <laughs> That's actually funny. Ray loves pervs. Um, no, I really like the interior artwork on this. Um, yeah. On this issue. I thought it was. I thought it was a really strong issue. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. And again, this yeah. is okay, why. Eight and a half. Yeah. This is why I love this era. This is why I love Joe Fix It. You know, yeah. we were get a Hulk with some intelligence and stuff because it's like yeah. you know Banner's like you know working at this facility hoping to find a cure for you know his condition and he's like. Mm. wait a minute he's like hulk has seemed to have no trouble with me working here he's like what if yeah. what what if he's secretly thinking you know i'm trying to get rid of him what if he's thinking oh hey maybe i'll find a way to get rid of banner yeah how, how crafty uh, yeah. is that that he's so i cool. love and that, and joe he's fix very it, yeah. joe fix it like yes yes sneaky. very he's joe quite sneaky because he's when they sneaky. yeah because when they started that whole vegas storyline you know hulk was banner free for like three months so he's like mm. you know and and i loved how um uh, when the Hulk, yeah, you know, he's he's talking to Banner at the beginning, and he can kind of stave off the transformation, and then when it goes to sundown, or yeah. like Banner, it goes so quickly, and Hulk goes, oh, he's such an idiot, like uh, yeah, I, you know, well, yeah, I he's, like, he's like he's like he's like can... he's like I was able to hold it back this morning, but Banner couldn't hold me <laughs> yeah, back he's... for one second yeah. now, yeah, 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 yeah. that was good. You know, I, I like can it. I say something, guys, that I think is really interesting? Like at least from personal, but when I got into Hulk as a little kid it was the um the tv show yeah like yeah. with bill bixby yeah. and lou yep. fringer and i loved it like i mm. i was a little kid yeah now back in those days you know there was a lot of bill bixby who was so good as banner mm. he was just so good oh, yeah. and yeah. i always thought of bruce banner like fairly high you know because mm. of that show i didn't really read a lot of hulk but when you read more Hulk, you realize kind of Banner's kind of pathetic, and oh, he's, in, a he's, lot of, yeah. in a lot of ways, you know, like yeah. I don't just mean how the Hulk calls him pathetic, but he's got a mm. lot of failings, mm. you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And like, I, like I didn't realize that until I years had passed. Because a, as a as a kid watching Bill Bixby, Bill Bixby yeah. wasn't pathetic, you know. He mm. was a man nah. on the run. Well, yeah. well, that was one of the themes of uh, Peter David's run. Dave is like mm. uh, when he uh, started uh, exploring the multiple personalities. He's basically like, you know, Banner was very repressed, and he's like, yeah, he would only let out certain emotions or certain sides of him through Joe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, and no, exactly. it, it was it. Who was it that created the storyline where? Bruce Banner had been abused as a child. Am I correct in saying this? Yeah, that was one yeah, of the yeah. ones like right before Peter David. I think that wasn't that one. He's still doing it in the crossroads. Oh, right. so yeah, yeah, it was yeah, actually. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's one of those things. It's one of those good things where someone else came up with it, but then Peter David yeah. kind of he grabbed it and ran it. with it. Yeah. 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 No, that's, that's right. It was alluded well. to. Like, yeah. I, I'm surprised. Oh, was that, that Mantlo? It could be Mantlo. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. I'm surprised that back in what I imagine was the early '80s that they would touch a story like that with the Hulk. It just shows you that they weren't afraid to explore. They weren't afraid. No, hmm. no, they, they do stuff like that, right? Um, and that was yeah, that was especially yeah, really Peter weird. David. He wasn't afraid to do stuff. No, yeah, yeah. Anyway, all I can say is it's like having read. I haven't read all of Peter David's Hulk, but I've probably read a good sixty percent of it. You know, I'm a, I'm a fairly long yeah. way through my read. Uh, it's very good like to be honest like it doesn't let you down if anything it gets you start reading it at first and you, it feels dated and but he hits his stride and it's very good for a long time and this is just another this is kind of an example mm. of how good his run is really you know um but yeah look yeah. 8.5 i've almost yeah. tempted to give um, it a nine it, it's great great episode what do you give it right yeah i'd say eight and a half as well just yeah the eight and a half but before i forget um i just want to say like because dave mentioned the bill bixby uh incredible hulk mm. and for me as well i grew up on that as well and me too. for me for a long time even getting into comics um mm. bill bixby was banner to me so like he didn't really look right to me in the comics because he didn't look like bill bixby 100 um, percent agree that, yeah. that was that's how i 
how I saw it. But yeah, eight and a half. I think it was really good. Um, I think uh, yeah, the work that Peter David does uh, with that relationship with the Hulk and Banner is is amazing. It just continues through the relationship with Marlo. He keeps that ticking as well. Um, she's such a great character as well, and there's a yeah. reason why she kind of hangs around for so long. Um, but also, yeah, by having this random werewolf by night. Uh, you you would think is really a throwaway thing, but he makes this issue just really enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, really cool. Just the way he constructs it. So, yeah. How about you, Phil? I mean, yeah, I'll agree with you guys. 8.5. Yeah, it was really great. I love, yeah, the yeah. story, just the, you know, everything in it. Like we said, Hulk, Banner, Marlo, the werewolf. Mm. I mean, even yeah. the dialogue. I love the dialogue, you know, when it, uh, yeah. Joe's fighting the werewolf and he's just like, uh, <laughs> I don't think this guy can, like, harm me. He's like, but I better not take a chance of him biting me. I don't want to, you know, last thing I need is to be the gray werewolf of Yucca Flat. <laughs> <laughs> that, made me, that made me laugh. Yeah, I've got yeah. a question, Phil. I've got a question. Um, this, sorry, this is sorry. This isn't related to Hulk. You know when you know when they say Yuckton in the states is that in Florida? Wait, what is it? It's it's like Yuckton, like Y A U C H T A N. I think that's how you spell it. Yuckton, something like that. Oh, I'm not sure uh, how you pronounce it. I, I'm not from. Uh, I'm not sh- familiar. Okay. I, mm. I'm just trying to work out if that's in. Might Florida. have to ask Lilith, right? Because she she didn't she live in Florida? Oh so. yeah, she's she's in Florida still. Yeah, because oh, she's still okay. Yeah, because yeah. La- yeah, a couple like few I, weeks I, ago I they got like two big like storms. Yeah, she was down there. Yeah, wow. I, I'm hearing from the other room that Michelle may have the answer, so I'm going to go and ask her that question while you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, eight and a half. I thought that was really good. Yeah, um, yeah. No, like we were saying, the Bill Bixby stuff. Like, uh, yeah, that was some of my first exposure to the Hulk. And then, like, my, it's like the first time I was like monthly on Hulk. It was the Gray Hulk stuff. I was like, wait, why is he gray? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Gray Hulk it, it did take me for a bit of a spin as mm. well. I love it. I love it. Yeah. No, like, oh, oh, no, oh, just, yeah. we were just saying, like I said, like you guys, like so my first, some of my first exposure to the Hulk was Bill Bill Bixby in that series. Yeah. And then when I dove yeah. into the monthly Hulk, it was like during Gray Hulk, and I was like, why is the why Hulk? Gray. Gray, yeah. Oh, is his mm-hmm. name? I was, um, it's Yucatan. Uh, Michelle doesn't know where oh, that Yucatan. is. Yucatan. Oh. oh, where is that? Is that in Florida? Um, it might be. I wasn't. I didn't. Was it? Are you sure that's here? Wasn't there a, a oh. movie called the The Train to Yucatan or something as well? Um, oh wait. Uh, oh wait. Yeah. Yucatan. Yeah, yeah. Yucatan Peninsula. Peninsula. Uh, it's in southeast Mexico. Uh, oh, the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's kind. Of, right. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's for all. It's like. Like right, probably it's southern. Well, the reason the, the reason I'm asking this question is because there's a funny reason I'm asking this question. So I've got Chuck Dixon on the show this week, no. and I was reading a Birds of Prey issue where he was saying in the Birds of Prey, one of the characters was saying the Vikings reached the Yucatan. Okay. So my question to Chuck is going to be: was is that something he actually believes, or was it just something he put in the characters' names and? Just trying to get some more details on that, so I was just trying to work out where it was. So it's 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 further than Florida; it's like right down in Mexico. Cool, something like yeah, yeah, like it's like the Gulf of Mexico, and yeah, so that's cool, man. How cool would it be the Vikings got all the way there? <laughs> like they made it to the states, so you know, yeah. Like wow. what's to say they couldn't have got all the way down there? Exactly. Um, oh, I had another thing. So I just recently, um, a few months ago, I picked up the Blu-rays of um, the Incredible Hulk show. Mm. I got a great, ah. deal, great deal on it. So they'll complete seasons, right? The five five seasons? Uh, of course, of course, yeah. right. You're not yeah, talking yeah. to an amateur here, my friend. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. um, and I tell you what, some of the episodes are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, Michelle saw one, and she said, this is just so fucking lame. But <gasps> oh! Yeah. Wow, but, but because said, it's dated, right? The, div- said, the divorce is so in good. the works, kids. <laughs> uh, I just said, no, I just I just said it's so good. You just don't know what you mean. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. But ir- I- ironically, right. the issue... That, hey, that Dave, Dave, watching. Dave, that's, that's, that's the, uh, so to happen sometimes when you, uh, older superstars will marry these younger women, man, you know, just, that's true. <laughs> they, they can't they don't, quite they grasp don't get them. it. They don't get well, it. It's like when Sinatra married Mia Farrow, she was 21 and he was 50 and Dean Martin said, I've got Scotch older. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but, um, no, but seriously, the, the, the episode that I was watching dealt with, uh, an abused child. And, and oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. that one as well. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah, a good yeah, yeah. it basically just tosses the abusive father around that gym. Yeah, he throws yeah. him around like a oh, ragdoll. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really good, actually. Yeah. Uh, I used to love that show, man. It's a good show. It's a good show. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a real shame that um, we lost Bill Bixby to cancer because I think he would have um, really enjoyed like many laps of honor in you know in the yeah. later years. Like I yeah. think you know really he would have like 
it's a real shame because he, he really carried that show on his back, you know. Mm. What, what yeah, I it's thought, the same yeah. like, like Lou. Lou's had, uh, Farina's yeah. had involvement yeah. and that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought I heard somewhere is like after that series they did the like what was it like late eighties like around ninety they did those TV movies you know yes. and they did the last one death of, yeah they did the trial they did the death of the Incredible Hulk where he dies yeah. spoilers but it's like I think they said they were gonna bring him back but then I think they uh, were. I, yeah, yeah, but Bill, he was sick. yeah Bill Bixby, Bixby had yeah, he his health sick. issues yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and um I thought for a second you were gonna say I've heard some rumors that he's alive still or like come back from no, the dead I was no, like wow no. oh like what like yeah, Elvis yeah he's pretty much yeah. You, you believe it's not like an Elvis situation, Ray? Like, you know, he's could, not could be. Stuff. I mean, he's, he, you know, off the he, world. he's he transcended, uh, you know, life. He's he's frozen. <laughs> so he's frozen somewhere. He's frozen. So they're, they're with those, with those white gamma. eyes. They're, Just they're the white eyes. Full of white oh, gamma. yeah. And, right. The and white gamma eyes. Rays and, yeah. like, injections and yeah. stuff trying to bring him back. Jeez. You know? And then it all goes <laughs> wrong. And then we're here. Grounds Marvel zombies. Wrong. Marvel zombies. <laughs> be awesome. Yeah. But anyway, um, look, in Two really interesting issues. I, I thought one was far better than the other, but both are interesting. So it was a good pick from you, Phil. And um, I'm loving your Hulk theme, man, because mm. I believe we did a – did we do an episode of, of Hulk? Punisher and, and the Hulk. Hulk. Pun- yeah, yeah, Hulk yeah. and the Punisher. Yeah, yeah. That's Absolutely. Right. Thank you, Ray, for um, reminding me what we did because I had almost forgot. Yeah, yeah no but, worries. Well, can, I, can, I, can I choose uh, yeah. our next ones? Yeah. yeah. Not allowed to be Moon Knight, Ray. No, no, no. I'm thinking X Men. Uh, I'm thinking X Men. Yeah. I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll just, yeah. Maybe sure. Claremont, Burn. I'll let that run. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Although, although I, w- I will throw it out there. Guys, we can do whatever. It doesn't even have to be comics. Like, if you guys ever want to do a Sydney Sweeney project to review, I mean, Ooh. We can do that. I mean, of what? Her body. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> Body of work. Why? Why? Well, I mean, work. there's plenty of uh, projects out there where you can uh, examine that in detail, uh, Dave. So. Yeah. And I have. So. Um, yeah, so the the ball's in race court, and yeah. he's 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 I'll been told no okay. Moon Knight, although unless there's some Marlene in there. Oh, does does Marlene turn up, Ray? No, she doesn't take her top off, Dave. No, okay, you no, no, asked no, me I this under, already. I understand that, and that's annoying. But <laughs> does she turn she, up anywhere besides Dave's dreams? Or, but even outside of Moon Knight, like, has any other character ever? No, seen I don't. Day? I I'm unaware of her being in what any other opportunity. Because wouldn't know. it be good if she wound up on like, let's say, Tony Stark's arm, and no. and then like, you know what I mean? Like, and then yeah. suddenly Moon Knight's kind of what like the sperm lover. Think? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I just I just feel like she feels like to me like a girl who date, you know, mm. and she wouldn't confine herself to just one man. Yeah. Um, so if Moon Knight's, you know, he's a complicated character with all these, you know, whatever you call them, mm. schizophrenic stuff and all that, and you know, she goes to someone a bit more stable. Like, imagine if she showed up. A stable like Tony Stark, <laughs> or, or like Wolverine or something. Like, like I'm just, I, I'm just throwing ideas out there. Yeah, right? yeah. And I'm just sure, feeling sure. like you could then wind Moon Knight into the story. I thought Dave so, was going to suggest some kind of like mud wrestling match three way between like Marlene, Mary Jane Watson, Lyra. and Karen Page. Ooh. You know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, but but uh, but I'm just I'm just putting yeah. ideas out there, and I, and I'm wondering yeah, sure. if one of your pals, you know, should throw that as you know the Marvel retreat. Mm. Someone yeah, should yeah. pipe up. What about Marlene? Oh, no, Marlene, we're not using her in Moon Knight. No, 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 I don't want her in Moon Knight. I don't want her in Moon Knight. I want yeah. her in something else. Get her right. in, um, I don't know, what's it, a, a Thor book or something. Yeah, something. You know, what? Thor, you know what? You know what? Maybe expand the idea that Lilith and I had. Like, we want, like, you know, the Spider-Man marriage back and then to do the marriage and the honeymoon and have it, like, re- like drawn by, like, John Byrne and Todd McFarlane, maybe do like a Women of Marvel thing and just, you know, have Ooh, sw- swimsuit it, issue. <laughs> something where it's like, yeah, it, it, maybe make it a mini, se- maybe get, make a mini series, you know, have Byrne come in for an issue, have Todd McFarlane come in for an mm. issue, you know. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, please. Yeah, great ideas. Cool. Great ideas. <laughs> Dave's all up. He's on it. Hey, Dave, Dave, Dave's, Dave's up for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, but wrapping this up with, with a bow and um and Ray, yeah. the balls in your court, my friend, and you're yeah. talking X Men. I like how you're talking. I'll do X Men. I might do yeah, more classic era. So yeah, mm. happy with that. Good stuff. I, I thought for sure he was going to say, "I want to do that well, Ben Rally, that Ben Rally, yeah. Scarlet Spider." I thought he was going to speak to Peter uh, David. Yeah, I, I, I do love Ben. Oh, I mean, chasm. Awesome He's Peter like, David, Ben Rally. Let's so. just do more Chasm. <laughs> chasm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, actually. I wouldn't mind more um, Kane. You know, but like, I'm not not that I'm going to suggest that. But Kane was pretty good. I really enjoyed mm. that. Uh, so I yeah. really like that run we did 
recently yeah. um yeah, yeah. field that you recommended um it was oh. i thought that was a really interesting run you know but which one oh, the, the the yoast one the steep oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I, I i honestly I, my expectations were so low and mm. i was really impressed by what i read yeah to be honest. I thought it was a pleasure Ooh. to read and, yeah. and and actually that character has low-key become one of my sort of low-key spider-man favorites now you know in the family kind of thing yeah it's pretty oh, good before pretty we cool. before we go yeah. Um, is anyone excited for Spider Verse versus Venom Verse? I know I am. That was the new event they're going to do in May 2025. No. Oh, oh no, not heard of it. Wow. What yeah, do you? Spider Verse. You... Oh, great. It was Spider Verse. Announced... Was... That sounds yeah, pretty cool. Actually. I think it was announced at New York Comic Con. Just yeah. all at least this is like the screen, and it's like Spider Verse versus Venom Verse. Mm. Ooh, that sounds good. And it's coming in May 2025. What do you see? What they're oh, doing? Yeah. Do you see what the event they're doing before that? Uh, Emperor Doom. Cool. Yeah, Emperor Doom that's looks cool. good. Yeah, I'm down yeah, for that. Yeah. I love Doctor Doom, so that's cool. Yeah, Doom's awesome. So. Great character. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to throw it out there, guys. It doesn't always have to be comics. If you guys ever want to throw out something else or like a movie, sure. I mean, what else is there? Yeah. Or if you just want to talk news, I mean, I I, I have a I, ha- I have a feeling Dave Finn can fill an hour even with if you don't give him a topic. <laughs> I can, but like we're gonna talk news, like oh, let's get in the middle of this situation. Let's talk about no, Trump. not that news. No, no, comic pop culture. Oh, news. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 you know, like you, you know what, what you know what boners has CB Sabolsky pulled this past month? Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, most of his line, I would suggest. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get me started on CB. He just annoys me. You know, Akira no, I haven't been paying attention the last year or so. Akira no, I, I didn't know. Tom Brevoort, is he not? Look, these people are beneath <laughs> my contempt. Like honestly, they are. Like <laughs> but they're sitting high in their ivory towers. Oh God, we and pushed they think the Nothing can affect them. And guess what? <laughs> I'm here calling them out week after week. Yeah, <laughs> bring it. Yeah. I'd like to see yeah. you one day, Ray, just go psycho on. Because I think you were strangers. Go Imagine psycho on what? No. On one of oh, them. I'd vent. Ah, yeah, not leash. not on the creators, no, but yeah. Get me on the Why wrong not? side of a road rage. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No, no, road no, rage. not that bad. No, but yeah, everyone, everyone shouts. Oh, dearie me, right. they cut me off. Dearie me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love well, to yeah. see it. Like that. I'd love to see it. You know what? I'm also anyway. I'm also surprised Ray hasn't like already picked a oh hey, let's do this story this Spider Man story with Tombstone in it. I you know. Oh, you're giving me ideas, Phil. I'm not set in stone with X Men. Okay. You, know, so. <gasps> you could do yeah, some the Tombstone Payette. origin, yeah. the um from a spectacular Spider Man. Do it. Do it, Ray. I'd oh, love to see it. <laughs> cool, man. Do it, dude. Yeah. It's up to you, Ray. You've we'll say, yeah, okay. in your I, ball, I, like two two issues max, right? I'll do that. Okay. Two issues max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Dave, Dave, this Dave Finn's a busy man. Come on, two issues. Come on. Yeah. yeah. All right. But I feel like we've covered a lot of problems tonight. We've solved a lot of issues. We have. You know, the world, the world can rest easy for another. World month. can rest easy. Although I always do advise sleep with a gun under your pillow. You know, because you never know. Oh, <laughs> sleep with the gun in your mouth. <laughs> 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 there was one time on Signal, I, we mentioned some creator, and I, we were like, we wonder what he's doing now. And I said, hopefully he's not sitting at home with a gun in his <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the fucking phone to ring. Oh, and, oh, uh, and I was just, it got super dark. It was meant it to be like, well, we should reach out to this guy. But I started like hypothesizing about what he was doing. <laughs> sitting at home with a gun in his mouth. See, see, I hear the name Signal of Doom, and I just expect rainbows and puppies. I know, yeah, exactly. I know. I know. Beautiful very innocent. Very innocent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. All right. So, yes, kids, who knows what we're going to do next time? Ray's going to let us know. So, uh, yeah. But no, send us your thoughts. What do you think of these Peter David episode issues? What do you think of anything we discussed here? Uh, again, get Dave Finn gave you a lot of topics to chew on. So, yes, yeah, send us your thoughts. Yeah, e- e- email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614 382. 2737 that's 61438 capes and remember you can find all things capes lunatics episodes social media merchandise there's brand new capes and lunatics merch the classic capes and lunatics merch uh and of course yeah wow scarier than any werewolf or nightmare and despair uh you should better ran ran the money on us or little hellfire is going to come to your house and give you nightmares mm-hmm. uh so yeah rain ran the money th- on us through the cash app link 
Make it rain. Make it rain. That's right. That's right. Uh, and, of course, the Patreon, where Lilith and I give you something different every month, exclusive, completely uncensored. And, Dave Finn, if you do subscribe to the Patreon, you can uh, suggest topics for us to discuss. So, if there's something you want to hear uh, Lilith Hellfire discuss, yes, uh, pony up the money and she'll talk about it. Uh, God, I just... like Lilith's style. She's a straight shooter. She's good. We need the money, gimme, gimme. <laughs> there you go. Love it. <laughs> so, Love uh, the energy. So, subscribe to the Patreon at patreon.com slash capes and lunatics and find everything at tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. It's tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. Uh, oh, how about this energy? Our whole family can suck it. <laughs> All right. Uh... Ray, the high priest of Conchu, uh, master of playing with himself on YouTube. Uh, where can people find uh, all your stuff, Ray? Sure. Just uh, look for at Ray Ray Pod, R E Y R E Y Pod. Um, and I'm on, yeah, many social media platforms. Otherwise, head on to YouTube and check out Ray Plays Games. Um, yeah, awesome. D- those are the handles. Uh, and yet, yeah, do Moon Knight. Uh, I have been in touch with uh, Saren from uh, To Know Her Is To Fear Her. Unfortunately, we are taking a hiatus, um, but we'll be back hopefully soon. Uh, we're still ticking over at Predator and Prey, a Yaucha podcast. That's still going. Loving that. The Predator versus Black Panther series has been good. Been enjoying that, and we go through the classics as well. But yeah, Ray Ray Pod, R E Y R E Y Pod. Ray, Ray recording from his car. I, every time I swear, I tune in live to Predator and Prey. Ray <laughs> recording from his Predator vehicle. versus Black Panther. I hope he annihilates Black Panther. Oh, it's good. Though. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's a mismatch. And the fans sure. want to know. And I have talked to uh, your some of your co-hosts, uh, Justin and Russell, and they assure wow. me the the uh, the Batman vs Predator uh, team ups. They are not holding up uh, the, the uh, production <laughs> of those episodes, Ray. Okay. Uh, well, maybe we'll have to get them started. Um, I mean, yeah, it seems like the stomach absolutely. seems like you get the stomach flu anytime anyone mentions Batman and Predator, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Well, I had I had shingles last time, didn't I? So that was you know. Shingles. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not like an old person's thing. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. <laughs> All right. Uh, the hard master and the soft master. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Uh, uh, oh God couple of balls down the gob all right <laughs> dave finn tell us all about signal of doom and how and what an important person you are in the uh, pop culture well, landscape yeah look i have a big deal when it comes to <laughs> legion fans right now they're really hitting me up left right and center uh but yeah signal of doom weekly podcast comes out comic book and movies me and rich week after week we we, we recorded our 375th episode awesome just yesterday. wow yeah, thank congrats you. and that's that's on thank, thanks ray and that's on uh line now but yeah, uh, we're there. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on X. Signal and Doom. Check us out. And, you know, we've got Patreon. All sorts of things you can do to support the show. But thank you, Phil, for having me on. And Ray, as always, a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Dave. Always bring in, always bring in uh, your sunshine hot takes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And again, hey, you, I, you know, you've got to make it worth the listeners while I always say there's no point just coming out and just playing a straight bad and just playing defense. You've got to play offense. And, and Dave, uh, congratulations on 375 episodes. I remember when Ray, Ray used to have that kind of drive. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. but Ray, hey, we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're up to 355. So that's pretty good. You're doing fine. Ray actually yeah. started very shortly after me. Very short. I was twenty in, episodes like, behind you, literally twenty. But whatever, episodes. yeah. But like, yeah. It, but in terms of timeline, it wasn't long at all, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, because I recall it, because um, yeah, and we've always uh, yeah. maintained a good correspondence from the very beginning, actually. You know? Absolutely. So there's your headline, kids. That- uh, Ray, to always two steps behind Dave Finn. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ray has multiple shows. Oh, I know. No, no, Woman, you know. No, no, I don't know. I know. He kind of seems to be focusing on the playing with it with himself on YouTube. That seems yeah, to where his energy stuff, is these yeah. days. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's if he's got a crippling addiction to these Marvel cards. That's true. Oh yeah, the Marvel Snap. Yeah, I know. He yeah, can't he champions. Put it down. Come on, Marvel champions. <laughs> you know, but I'm convinced he's playing with the devil. Like that's the only explanation. He's I shaking have. his deck at the devil every episode. Yeah, he yeah. He's he shaking the deck, turkey slapping. <laughs> but, and people criticize me and meanwhile Ray's just working blue 
you know. <laughs> I know, slapping that, slapping that deck right on the table, like let's go, yes. yeah. Like, you know, he's just you've always got to watch the quiet ones. That's you know? it. <laughs> All right, kids, thank you for joining us again. Next time will be a Ray pick, so. Get ready. Get ready. Tigra? Tigra? Another? Nah, Tiger Juggernaut. Ball. I'm thinking Juggernaut. Oh. Juggernaut. Once the gift's Juggernaut. All right. Juggernaut, actually. <laughs>